Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, I just got home from work and uh, I'm out here walking around checking out the the garden spot. We got a uh, quite a bit of rain last night. Uh, actually, it was Wednesday night. I'm sorry, and uh, got quite a bit of rain, a heavy storm, and I was just checking to see if the garden. Is dry enough to till for a second time certain parts of the garden I tilled it up once already and certain parts of the garden were uh, heavily compacted so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hit it with the tiller again I don't know if I'll adding I'll be adding any amendments to it this year or not I don't know yet um, so I was just out here walking around looking at uh, the soil and it's still quite damp but I have seen uh, something kind of interesting I've seen some tracks in the garden uh, let me flip the camera around real quick and I'll show you okay so there's some tracks now that's a cat uh, we have a, a stray cat that wanders around out here some at least I assume it's a stray it acts like it's starving to death all the time I try to feed it when I can so there's that back here are some more tracks that that pattern looks more like a rabbit though and I do know I saw a rabbit in the in the yard a couple of mornings ago leaving for work and of course there's that spot where there's been some digging and stuff and then there's this, which almost looks like a, a large paw print, but I'm thinking just it might be a rabbit there as well. There's some more prints there. It's just interesting. I love tracking, so it's interesting to see what's showing up in the dirt in my garden. There's some more right there. That same gate pattern that looks more like a rabbit. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them right there. Yeah, they're probably just being curious. But yeah, uh, I'll probably, considering how damp this soil is, I'll probably wait till I've got a 12 hour shift tomorrow. I don't have enough time to do it today, obviously, and it's still wet, so. I'm not going to do it today. I got a 12 hour shift tomorrow, so I'll probably let it sit and dry then as well. And then hopefully Sunday I'll be able to hit it one more time and then I can go ahead and start planting it. But uh, that's, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that before I get into the main topic of this video. Now let me flip this camera back around so uh, I can talk about that. All right, so. I'm going to talk to you while I'm walking around checking out some of my fruit trees and stuff. So, I don't know if you've heard it in the news, but uh, there's been an, a fuel depot of some sort in Russia that caught fire. Uh, my May apples are coming up pretty good. I've got some May apples growing along the side of the yard here. There they are. That's the biggest they've ever been. All right, so uh, as I was saying, there's a, a fuel depot of some sort in Russia that was that caught fire. Now, there's a lot of conflicting reports from the media. Russia is accusing Ukraine of an airstrike that uh, bombed the depot. Um, whether that's true, I don't know. They say that there were two Ukrainian attack helicopters that launched the airstrike inside Russia. I believe it's... The, I'm hearing, again, conflicting reports that it was 
four miles and one another said 21 miles or something like that so I don't think anybody's absolutely certain the details are sketchy but they're saying that Ukraine lost an airstrike via uh, hang on a second folks Ukraine lost an air, launched an airstrike using two attack helicopters against this fuel depot. Now, another report, actually a couple of other reports, are saying that Ukraine has denied it, denied any responsibility or denied take, uh, launching any kind of airstrike. And then another news report I saw says that Ukraine is neither confirming nor denying. So there seems to be a lot going on here. Um, I'm not really up on Ukraine's military capability right now. Uh, it seems sketchy that a country that is being completely invaded and is is dragging out into an, uh, such a long war could be able to send two helicopters, two solo helicopters, all the way into Russia to launch an attack against one fuel depot. Now, I'm not saying that's impossible. Anything is possible. Um, but... It just seems to me that, um, I don't know, that it just doesn't seem as credible because it's, I would think that it, to my, from my perspective anyway, I would think that Ukraine is focused more on defense right now rather than any kind of uh, offensive actions. And a fuel depot that far inside Russia, depending on how far it is, wouldn't be as effective of a target to, to my way of thinking as the convoys and uh, gathered troops inside Ukraine. Now, maybe they're trying to cut off the fuel supply to the, uh, those units. I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm just speculating here. A lot of people are saying it's a false flag that um, Russia did it to be able to blame Ukraine or uh, and expand their war effort further, deeper into Ukraine uh, to elevate tactics. Um, and who knows, maybe it's uh, another nation that actually did it. I mean, that, there's always the possibility that another nation did it, and it's, I don't know. <sighs> there's just, there's a lot of questions. I would think, though, that if I were in Zelensky's place, my military wouldn't be focused so much on trying to launch an offensive attack inside Russia so much as trying to push them back in, inside my own country and gain ground. But, you know, that's just me speculating. And again, these reports are just coming out, so I haven't really had time to read in depth on, on what's been happening. I'm just going based off the, the headlines and a, just a few lines in, in each article. Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to follow this stuff really closely and really in depth when uh, when you're working like I do and my particular job keeps me pretty busy uh, when I'm at work I, I'm constantly on the move so so I don't really have a lot of time to sit and read and catch up on things. I don't have a desk job. I work on a on a production line in a factory, so 
I just catch the stuff in bits and pieces on my breaks. And then when I get off work, and I just got off work maybe 30 minutes ago. So I could be completely wrong. I could be completely misinformed. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. It's just pure speculation on my part. But false flag or not, what do you think? Uh, to me, I don't think it's so much a false flag. Maybe uh, could it be possible that another nation launched the airstrike under the guise of being Ukrainian? I don't know. That seems to me like that would just anger Russia even more and and cause the uh, elevate the tensions there. I should say. I don't know. Uh, it's just a lot to take in. But will this? Do you think this will uh, lead to an escalation? Because it's been known that Russia has said that they are willing to use nuclear weapons to protect their uh, their security. So, and if, if you're wanting to use a false flag airstrike to justify a larger military campaign inside the country that you're already invading it seems to me like it would be stupid to blow up one of your own oil uh, or gas depots fuel depots so I don't know I'm not sure what to make of it I'm sure we'll be hearing more about it as it comes out and as usual, I'm sure the media will take certain specific sides and say this and say that, but again, you can't always go by what the media says. You take details and try to piece the puzzle together, filtering out all the biases in mainstream media. Anyway, maybe this is something we should watch, possible escalation in the conflict. Uh, Maybe a false flag operation. We know governments are bad about doing that. Or maybe it was a legitimate, uh, or rather, not necessarily a legitimate, but it, uh, all the details so far are correct. Maybe it was Ukraine that launched the airstrike. I guess we'll see. Anyway, this is just just a reminder that a situation like Russia and Ukraine can change rapidly it's a very fluid situation it can change rapidly it can escalate quickly uh, and it, it's not something that what's happening over there is not something that will just affect people there it will have ramifications worldwide so something to watch that's really all I'm trying to say right now just speculating thinking out loud I guess as you could say I'm just thinking out loud. I'm not making any judgments. I'm not not picking sides or anything like that. Just trying to think out loud to uh, see what I can figure out about it. But like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to read up on it because I just got home. I, my brain's still pretty much racing from what I had to deal with at work and what I've got to deal with it here at home. I'm thinking more about my garden, my plants, certain projects that I need to get done, uh, things like that. So I've got a lot going on in my head right now. So my thoughts are a little scattered and disjointed right now. So I apologize for that. But yeah, this, this video is just basically talking about that and uh, trying to de-stress from work walking around in my garden in my yard looking at my plants That's, that always helps relieve stress and then I don't know uh, like I said just thinking out loud about what I was reading after I got off work so that's all this is folks but take this as as what you should, that it's a uh, 
Another reminder to not be complacent. Get your things in order. Keep busy. Keep aware. And don't get caught with your pants down. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to sign off here. I got some stuff I need to do before I get off my feet. I've walked a lot today. Uh, um, fitness has always been something that is often overlooked in the prepper world. Well, my job keeps you running. So I, I, here lately I've been work, uh, walking so much at work that I walk the equivalent of the last week or so I walked the equivalent of seven miles within a 10 hour shift with a, or a 10, 12 hour shift, however long I'm working. I'm actually working both right now, oddly enough. It's crazy. Uh, so I do a lot of walking during the day, which is good and bad. It takes a toll on you, but at least I know if I have to hit the road somewhere walking to bug out, I know I can do it. <laughs> might not be comfortable but I can do it anyway sorry I'm, I'm rambling here but uh with that I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here I got some stuff I got to do before I settle in for the afternoon try to take time take advantage of the last hour or two of sunlight I have here but that's all I've got so uh I appreciate you guys watching as always like, share, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll, until next time, take care of yourselves, do what you got to do. I'll catch you later.